Hi there and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today's setup is a little bit different, you're more zoomed out because we're going to do a little yoga flow in the office today. As you can read in the title, this video is going to be a 5 minute work study break flow. Hi there, it's Sarah from S Help Now. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for coming back. And if you're new here, welcome to this channel. I upload weekly new videos about overall health, nutrition and fitness. With the mission to make nutrition simple and connect people to their own bodies to experience lasting health and happiness. If that's something that you want, make sure you subscribe and turn on the notification bell to never miss a video. Now, let's get started with today's video. Just a few days ago, I received a message if I could create a video on an ideal work, study, break workout for everyone who's spending lots of time sitting at the desk. Something short and sweet that will refresh you from all the desk time. The idea is that you can repeat this mini flow directly at your desk. You don't have to change into another outfit and you don't even have to unroll your mat. This makes it much easier and much more convenient to actually do it. This short flow will be super simple, so you can remember it easily and repeat it every few hours as an active break. But being easy doesn't mean that it's not effective. This flow is split into three parts. All parts are made up of four exercise groups. The first four exercises are done sitting on the chair, getting the body used to movement. The middle part is made out of four standing exercises, getting the heart and the blood pumping by standing up. And the last four exercises are done sitting again. Some finishing stretches to get back to work. All of this will take around five minutes. Everyone got five minutes, so let's do it. As I mentioned, the first exercises will be done sitting. Just make sure that both of your legs are touching the sitting pad. Your spine is long and straight and the shoulders are down away from the ears. If you want, you can go ahead and close out your eyes. On the next inhalation, bring your hands up. As you exhale, draw them down, open them out to the side. Inhale up. Exhale down. We are doing this five times. Inhale up, reach up, even gaze up. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. And last one. Inhale up. Exhale down. For the second exercise, we're stretching out the side body parts. So place the right hand down onto the chair, left hand reaching up high. Inhale here. Exhale, moving over towards the right. Inhale to center, switching up the sides, same inhalation, reaching the right hand up. Exhale over. Inhale to center. Exhale over. Inhale center. Exhale over. Coming back to center. The third exercise is involving around the hands. Oftentimes on the desk we are writing or typing all day long. So let's loosen up the fingertips. Extend the arms out in front of you and then 10 times open and close. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10 times out to the side. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And again to the front 10 times. 1, 2, 3, 4, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And the last exercise in this group is going to be a twist to massage the internal organs and awaken our body again. So place the left hand on the outside of the right thigh and twist towards the right side, placing the right hand on the back of the chair. Breathing deeply into the belly, gazing towards the back. Coming back to center. Now same on the other side. Right hand on the outside of the left thigh. Left hand reaching towards the back. Three breaths here, gaze towards the back. And coming back to center. Well done. As I mentioned before, for group number two, we're going to stand up. It doesn't matter what size of chair you have. Either you can use the sitting pad or you can turn it around and use the back. 
The first exercise is going to be a balancing exercise. So place the hand or even the forearm down onto the chair and then open the leg out and up. Make sure that your hip is open up and reaching the right hand up. We're going to hold this for three breaths. All right, same on the other side. Placing either the hand or the forearm down onto the chair and opening out the leg. Left hand reaching up high. Very well done. The second exercise in this group is going to be a puppy stretch, stretching out the arms and the shoulders area. So place your hands on the back of the chair, step back, and then resting the upper body down. Holding it for five deep breaths. Very well done. Exercise number three in this group is going to work and strengthen our arms. We're going to do some tricep dips. So place the hands onto the chair, step slightly away from it, and then lower down. Inhale, push yourself up. Exhale down, five. Inhale up, exhale down. Two more, inhale up, exhale down. And last one, inhale up, exhale down. Very well done. Now stay exactly like this, just arch your spine, pressing the hips forwards, open up the upper body and the chest area. If you're feeling comfortable, drop the head down. Slowly coming back and sitting back down. Now for the last four exercises, we're sitting down again. So make sure your spine is still long and straight, resting the hands on the chair, and then alternately extending one leg at a time. Doing this five times per side. Two more times. Very well done. Exercise number 10 is cat cow. Loosening up the spine, especially when we're sitting at the desk, we're oftentimes hunching over. So this exercise is going to reverse this movement. So place the hands on the thighs. As you inhale, open the chest, gaze up. Exhale the other way around, chin towards the chest and round your spine, press into the chair. Inhale, open. Exhale, round. Inhale, open, exhale, round, inhale, open, exhale, round, and last one, inhale, exhale. Scratch number 11 is called figure four because we're going to shape the number four with our legs. So place the right ankle on top of the left knee and gently with the right hand, pressing down onto the right thigh. Keeping the spine straight and long. <sighs> Breathing deeply into the belly. After five breaths, we're going to switch the sides. And then switching up the sides. Be very gentle here. Placing the left ankle on top of the right knee with the right hand holding the ankle and then gently pressing down the left thigh.
and then releasing, coming back to our sitting position. And our last exercise is going to be a small breathing exercise. The breath is very important and it's grounding us into our body and the present moment. So place the right hand on your belly, the left hand on your chest. Once again, I invite you to close your eyes. Then breathe deeply into the right hand, into your belly. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, breathe through the nose, into the belly. Exhale, open the mouth and side out. Inhale. Exhale. Two more times, just like this. Inhale, into the belly, through the nose. Exhale, side out, through the mouth. Last one. Now blink, open the eyes. Now you're ready to continue with your work or your studies. I hope you found this little yoga flow useful to incorporate into your breaks to get your body moving and the breath flowing again. Thank you so much for watching all the way until the end. If you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and if you haven't yet, hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell to never miss a video. I wish you an amazing day and I will see you in the next video. Bye!